time at the Element 14 Farnell booth and we've got the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 5 live and I'm going to show you a little bit what we are looking at here and what the thing can do. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Here we've got the Raspberry Pi Compute Module version 5 in its natural habitat at the booth of uh, Farnell and uh, we see here the board itself which we cannot remove and here we've got the compute module I'm gonna be a bit of a jackass do you mind if I pull the well there is a power button here but how do I remove this it doesn't remove it doesn't remove for applications it's a screw together or solder together or just the FPC connector below? Uh, for demonstration, it's attached today. So you glued it down? Booting, okay. Basically, yes. And uh, they, they have a little demo here. And uh, either way, let's start out with the first thing. We see here the external connector for the hat and the power button. And they advertise that they designed it with KiCad. And yes, we've got the USB, the SD card, the M2 with the various different, as you see here, sizes, the correct mounting screw, and uh, then here we've got the two HDMI ports. And what's very interesting is here that they write that the SD card slot is only used for modules which do not have AMMC. We're gonna look at that very shortly. In the meantime, let's, here, we see some additional jumpers to configure the evaluation board. And one more very neat aspect. We find here the fan connector. So we can also put a heatsink and a fan on the compute module. And now the next thing we're looking at is the actual module which we see here. We see here that there are multiple different options for the memory, both here on the top for the RAM and below for the remnant storage. And other than that, we see by and large the usual expected, the new I.O. controller, some Broadcom stuff, the new processor, the memory. And what is also interesting, we have the usual Raspberry Pi here, these uh, feet from the penalization, which are as usual a bit hairy. But in principle, yes, this is the planar. Here we find a slot for a coin cell, which can be used to power the real time clock. That's the FPC cable. So in principle, this is what there is to see right now. And finally, here on top, we've got a Raspberry Pi wireless module. And we see again, there is both a PCB antenna and the option to add an external antenna connector. And this one is glued down so I cannot remove it, but I am trying to get as close as possible to show the connectors from the side, just so that we see how it's connected to the rest of the planar. Look at the AI demo which they are running. Here they have this AI camera which we featured in the past. And now if I go here, we see on the display the usual known Raspberry Pi person segmentation. And yes, it hates me so it crashes. And now I am back and now it says person. 
And if I flip this over, sometimes it also says mobile phone, but it doesn't do this so often.